Dasein German pronunciation, Dasein, is a German word that means being there or presence. German da there sign being and is often translated into English with the word existence. It is a fundamental concept in the existential philosophy of Martin Heidegger, particularly in his magnum opus Being and Time. Heidegger uses the expression Dasein to refer to the experience of being that is peculiar to human beings. Thus it is a form of being that is aware of and must confront such issues as personhood, mortality and the dilemma or paradox of living in relationship with other humans while being ultimately alone with oneself. <laughs> Heidegger's reinterpretation In German, Dasein is the vernacular term for «existence», as in «I am pleased with my existence». Ich bin mit meinem Dasein zufrieden. The term has been used by several philosophers before Heidegger, most notably Georg Wilhelm Friedrich Hegel, with the meaning of human existence or presence. It is derived from Dasein, which literally means being there, there being though Heidegger was adamant that this was an inappropriate translation of Dasein. Dasein for Heidegger can be a way of being involved with and caring for the immediate world in which one lives, while always remaining aware of the contingent element of that involvement, of the priority of the world to the self, and of the evolving nature of the self itself. The opposite of this authentic self is everyday and inauthentic Dasein, the forfeiture of one's individual meaning, destiny, and lifespan, in favor of an escapist immersion in the public everyday world. The anonymous, identical world of the they and the them, in harmony with Nietzsche's critique of the subject, as something definable in terms of consciousness. Heidegger distinguished Dasein from everyday consciousness in order to emphasize the critical importance being has for our understanding and interpretation of the world, and so on. This entity which each of us is himself, we shall denote by the term Dasein. Heidegger, trans. 1927-1962, p.27. Dasein is that entity which in its being has this very being as an issue. Heidegger, trans. 1927–1962, p.68. Heidegger sought to use the concept of Dasein to uncover the primal nature of being. Sign, agreeing with Nietzsche and Dilthe that Dasein is always a being engaged in the world, neither a subject nor the objective world alone, but the coherence of being in the world. This ontological basis of Heidegger's work thus opposes the Cartesian abstract agent in favor of practical engagement with one's environment. Dasein is revealed by projection into, and engagement with, a personal world a never ending process of involvement with the world is mediated through the projects of the self. Heidegger considered that language, everyday curiosity, logical systems, and common beliefs obscure Dasein's nature from itself. Authentic choice means turning away from the collective world of them, to face Dasein, one's individuality, one's own limited lifespan, one's own being. Heidegger thus intended the concept of Dasein to provide a stepping stone in the questioning of what it means to be to have one's own being, one's own death, one's own truth. Heidegger also saw the question of Dasein as extending beyond the realms disclosed by positive science or in the history of metaphysics. Scientific research is not the only manner of being which this entity can have, nor is it the one which lies closest. Moreover, Dasein itself has a special distinctiveness as compared with other entities. It is ontically distinguished by the fact that, in its very being, that being is an issue for it. Being and time stressed the ontological difference between entities and the being of entities. Being is always the being of an entity, establishing this difference as the general motif running through being and time. Some scholars disagree with this interpretation, however, arguing that for Heidegger, Dasein denoted a structured awareness or an institutional way of life. Others suggest that Heidegger's early insistence on the ontological priority of Dasein was muted in his post-war writings. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Origin and Inspiration. Some have argued for an origin of Dasein in Chinese philosophy and Japanese philosophy. According to Tamanobu Amamichi, Heidegger's concept of Dasein was inspired although Heidegger remained silent on this by Okakura Kakuzo's concept of Das in der Welt sein being in the worldness, worldliness expressed in the Book of Tea to describe Zhuangzi's Taoist philosophy, which Amamichi's teacher had offered to Heidegger in 1919, after having followed lessons with him the year before. 
Carl Jaspers Dason and Existence For Carl Jaspers, the term Dason meant existence in its most minimal sense, the realm of objectivity and science, in opposition to what Jaspers called existence, the realm of authentic being. Due to the drastically different use of the term Dason between the two philosophers, there is often some confusion in students who begin with either Heidegger or Jaspers and subsequently study the other. In Philosophy 3 Vols, 1932, Jaspers gave his view of the history of philosophy and introduced his major themes. Beginning with modern science and empiricism, Jaspers points out that as we question reality, we confront borders that an empirical or scientific method can simply not transcend. At this point, the individual faces a choice, sink into despair and resignation, or take a leap of faith toward what Jaspers calls, "...transcendence." In making this leap, individuals confront their own limitless freedom, which Jaspers calls existence, and can finally experience authentic existence. Other applications Eero Tarasti considered Dason very important in existential semiotics. Jacques Lacan turned in the 1950s to Heidegger's Dason for his characterization of the psychoanalyst as being for death, et pour la mort. Similarly, he saw the analyzant as searching for authentic speech, as opposed to the subject who loses his meaning in the objectifications of discourse, which will give him the wherewithal to forget his own existence and his own death. Alfred Schutz distinguished between direct and indirect social experience, emphasizing that in the latter, my orientation is not towards the existence of a concrete individual thou. It is not towards any subjective experiences now being constituted in all their uniqueness in another's mind. Criticism <coughs> 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 Theodore W. Adorno criticized Heidegger's concept of Dasein as an idealistic retreat from historical reality. Richard Rorty considered that with Dasein, Heidegger was creating a conservative myth of being complicit with the romantic elements of National Socialism. Topic. See also. Topic. References. Topic. External links Martin Heidegger Stanford Encyclopedia of Philosophy